Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. So today I'm going to provide 10 important questions for professional knowledge section of Bank of Maharashtra Journalist Officer 2023 exam. Very important questions from variety of topics repeated in the previous years in 2020, 2022, bar bar repeat and that's what we are going to do today. Okay. Uh, so before starting, let me tell you Bank of Maharashtra Journalist Officer 2022-2023 course is available on bankexamstudy.com in which we are providing video classes, the notes, quizzes, test series. This is all dashboard pe available. Hai. You can check it. Hai? All the links are available in the description. You can check it check kar sakte hai. Dekh Who's the regulator of uh, the capital markets? Capital market ka regulator kaun hai? So it's SEBI. SEBI is the regulator for capital markets in India. And important question, easy question, aise bhi aate hai. Which of the following gives credit to exporters? ECGC gives credit, theek hai, Export Credit Guarantee Corporation of India. So, ye uh, jo hai credit facilities provide karta hai exporters ko. What is the maximum amount of balance that a customer can have uh, at the end of the day in a payment span. Ek payment bank ke account mein ek customer kitna maximum balance rakh sakta hai at the end of the day. So that is uh, 2 lakh rupees. 2 lakh rupees rakh sakta hai. Pehle kam hua karta tha. I guess 1 lakh tha. Abhi 2 lakh kar diya gaya hai. Who among us the following will have the preference to get money in case of liquidation of a company on bankruptcy? So IBC students, I have studied in the last sessions very in-depth, we had studied in detail in IBC. So students, uh, what I uh, you know, recommend you, please go through that particular se uh, session. It was very detailed, you will do it, so you will understand the IBC well. Sir Faisi will also understand the IBC well. Please go through the IBC ka lecture. I will link that lecture in the description. Ya either card dal dunga, you can just uh, go through that IBC ka session. And I have already also made a playlist. I have a playlist bhi banai hai. And uh, playlist me, I have a lot of contents that I have done on YouTube. Kar rahe so, in case of a liquidation, the preference would be given to the employees or the workmen. Employees ko jo hai preference will be given to the employees. Ko diya Mudra loans are uh, very, very common topic in the exams. Uh, kis, jo different types of loans are given to the name. Shishu Kishor Tarun. I hope you already know that. But uh, please remember Shishu up to 50,000 rupee ka loan, Kishore 50,000 to 5 lakhs, Tarun 5 lakhs to 10 lakhs. So very common question, exam mein bar bar repeat hota hai ye question, that is why aaj hum yahan pe kar rahe hain. As per the RBI guidelines, what is the large exposure limit for NBFC upper layer for loans provided to group of connected counterparties? So categorization of NBFC ka circular hum RBI ka already kar chuke hain, categorization hui NBFC ki according to their assets and yahan pe is question ko samajhne ke liye 25 or 20 baad mein dekhenge pehle isko dekhiye aaram se uh, rbi ka circular hai see uh, nbfc upper layer what is large exposure so students if a bank uh, if a bank is having let's say 1000 crore right 1000 crore rupees hai ek bank ke paas jo usne loan dena hai and that it wants to you know lend to its customer and let's say if it, uh, you know, give a loan of 600 crore to a single entity and that entity, you know, goes bankrupt. It goes through insolvency process. So that loan became NPA. What would happen to the depositor's money? So that is very risky and RBI is totally against that. That is why RBI said there should be a cap. How much that cap is for NBFC upper layer? That is 20%. 20% is the cap but if the board allows if the board of NBFC or uh, upper layer allows then additional 5% so 20% plus 5% total 25% can be the limit but another point is here if that is a you know a infrastructure finance company then another 5% okay so 20% in general cases 5% if board approves, okay, board approval, 
फाइव परसेंट एडिशनल फॉर बॉर्ड अप्रूवल फाइव परसेंट एडिशनल फॉर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फाइनेंस कंपनी सो मैक्सिमम थर्टी परसेंट मैक्सिमम लिमिट इज थर्टी परसेंट जनरल जनरली इफ एनी बडी आस्क यू जनरली जनरली इट इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट फाइव परसेंट एडिशनल फॉर इफ बॉर्ड अप्रूवल हैज बिन यू नो हैज बिन गिवन एंड फाइव परसेंट एडिशनल इफ द लोन इज गिवन टू एन आई एफ सी सो आंसर इज वेरी सब्जेक्टिव हेयर लेट मी सी द क्वेश्चन एज पर द आर बी आई गाइडलाइंस वॉट इज द एक्सपोजर लिमिट फॉर एन बी एफ सी अपर लेयर फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग लोन्स टू ग्रुप ऑफ कनेक्टेड काउंटर पार्टी सो इट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ओके हेयर वी आर एज्यूमिंग द बॉर्ड अप्रूवल हैज बिन गिवन टू अ नॉर्मल कंपनी ओके सो आई होप दैट इज क्वाइट क्लियर टू यू दिस थिंग आई हैव फ्रेम द क्वेश्चन माई सेल्फ मे बी दिस इज नॉट द राइट वे बट uh this one that's how it it should be explained 20% nbfc or uh, upper layer 5% additional if board approves it 5% more if that is an ifc company okay uh if i uh, the infrastructure finance company can further you know extend 5% more so total 30% in case of ifc under kisan credit card how much interest subvention is provided to farmers to pay their loans promptly so students in the past farmers um, they how farmers make money farmers they sell their produce right so most of the farmers they have to produce uh, two crops in a year so they make money twice right only twice when they sell their produce right so they make money they just get money two times in a year but they need money for seeds they need seeds okay uh they need to pay sometimes they need to pay labor so let's assume they are they are themselves doing everything uh some you know for fertilizers for fertilizers for you know manure fertilizers uh fertilizers sorry for the bad handwriting even for their household expenses so can you uh, you know uh, survive if you don't get your salary for 6 months for 5 months it's very difficult so farmers they used to go to uh, you know landlords or they used to go to lenders um, like uh, in on for informal uh, you know sector arti you say and they charge like really exorbitant rate of interest like 3% a month 4% a month Five percent a month, which is common even right now. It is very common. This is a very common practice. That is why the government of India came up with the Kisan Credit Card scheme. Under this scheme, the farmers are going to get the you know uh, the short term revolving credit. It is a short term revolving credit. Okay, it's not a term loan. At the rate of seven percent. if you pay your uh, loan on time you get an in, uh, subvention of i guess for uh, you get a subvention of 3% so 4% if you pay your loan on time so agar aap late pay nahi karte ho you get a subvention your effective rate of interest is 4% so uh, fd ka rate 4% se zyada hai fd rate of interest in fd right now is 7% so you are anyway making money why are farmers are making money via kisan credit cards right so it's a very good scheme by the government of india and what about this sovereign gold bonds why why it was required i mean why i am extending the answers because that may be required at the time of interviews so indians love gold they want to invest in gold a lot of people love to invest in gold so that's why uh, the government said okay instead of buying gold in physical format which may attract which actually attracts making charges there i mean when you buy the gold in physical format no matter what there are some making charges the jeweler is going to charge money no no matter what there is gst okay so safety is an issue some expenses are there for the safety as well so to overcome that and for the you don't make anything out of uh, the physical gold right it is there uh, you buy the gold today at 54000 rupee uh, for 10 grams and you hope that the co- the price of the gold would rise in the future so that that's your expectation right but the government of india says okay uh, give us the money 
So your investment is tied to the gold prices. You are going to get 2.5% interest. You are going to get 2.5% interest. Plus it is tax free. I mean, the, whatever the appreciation is there, it is tax free interest is taxable. So uh, right now the gold price is 54,000. And when you, you know, uh, redeem it, after eight years, let's say the price is one lakh rupees. So you're going to get money at the rate of one lakh. So capital appreciation is here along with that uh, interest you are getting and there is no capital gain tax. The capital gain that uh, that you derive, you don't have to pay any tax. It is tax free. So that's that's a benefit of the sovereign gold bonds. <clears throat> so who launched the sovereign gold bonds? The Reserve Bank of India, uh, you know, releases the sovereign gold bonds on behalf of government of India, the Reserve Bank of India, on the behalf of government of India, you can buy the sovereign gold bonds from banks from your DMAT accounts, name, name it, you have it right. And what is the prescribed limit for bank loan sanction to education under priority sector. So I hope you have already gone through the priority sector lending lecture, I have already done that. Uh, there is a proper playlist. All the topics that I'm talking about today, just come and a link uh, that would be available in the playlist. So playlist may sare topics available hai, name it uh, the, the priority sector lending is also available. Depth me kiya hai, it is a 35 minutes class go through that very important two questions for sure from priority sector lending. Her sal do questions aate hi aate hai. By going through 30 minutes class, you're going to fetch two marks. Okay. The limit for education sector, very important questions repeated multiple times. It is 20 lakhs. It used to be 10 lakhs, but it has been increased to 20 lakhs. Okay. Pre-packaged insolvency resolution process. So IBC uh, was updated. There, there was an amendment in IBC in 2021. For uh, MSMEs, for smaller companies, uh, there is a pre package insolvency resolution process where default is at least 10 lakhs. But maximum that is a minimum amount minimum 10 lakhs rupees 10 lakhs rupees yeah, well, maximum kitna maximum one CR. Okay, so that is for pre package insolvency resolution process even I have done the IBC on this YouTube channel and it is also available in the playlist. Ye playlist mein maine dal diya, Bank of Maharashtra journalist officer. I link the playlist in the description. Who regulates the insolvency professionals in India? The IBC, uh, the insolvency and uh, bankruptcy board of India, it regulates the insolvency professionals in India. So students Bank of Maharashtra journalist officer 2023 course. Uh, it's available on bank exams today.com. We are providing complete coverage of the syllabus. We are providing video classes, notes, test series, quizzes, live sessions. This is our WhatsApp number. If they, if there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts and I'm going to answer your doubts, right? All the links are available in the description. Whatever I have discussed, it's available in the description. Please check list of our successful students who crack various exams using our study material. I'm really, really happy for all of them. Recently in the Bank of Maharashtra 2022, Journalist Officer 2022, we got eight final selections. All these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. All of them actually. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts. And that's actually all for today students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye bye.